how was the practice session on for you all you know before covid like you know what was your practice schedule uh if i uh, say that i was practicing with my team with my not team with my academy players i was in academy mm-hmm. in kerala so mm-hmm. i was practicing there morning 7 mm-hmm. to 10 Uh, sometime it's uh, 7 to 10:30 also i used to practice okay. morning in the ground and uh, ah. evening uh, evening 7 to 9 i had my uh, gym gym session that time okay you know? so few times ah, i was ah, practicing ah, ah, ah. Yeah. okay 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 that's nice and uh, because you know for calcutta is famous for football so yeah. how is uh, uh, so you got into the football field like no if i uh, want to ask you for the blind football yeah we have yes. a association uh, fvvb football association for the blind of bengal we have that mm-hmm. but we uh, mm-hmm. really practice we really practice actually we don't practice okay. properly but uh, okay. before this covid 19 uh, we like we used to play once in a month or four in four times five times in a month for the practicing uh-huh. and all matches we used to play okay. and just we went mm-hmm. to uh, bangladesh also uh, on mm-hmm. uh, this year march march onwards we went to the bangladesh Bang- bengal okay. versus bangladesh we played there two matches three mm-hmm. matches mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, that solo goal that you scored yeah yeah so you were like you know in some corner and suddenly like you know uh, it was just like a, a lightning uh, that you made a fast run and you scored that goal yeah, so how I, was it like you know i'm sure like you know around 10 people yeah, were yeah, there yeah. with you actually uh, what happened that time uh, i uh, that was a corner kick actually that was a corner we was taking the corner so suddenly mm-hmm. my goal guide said that uh, samuel i need a goal i said but it's corner mm-hmm. It's a little bit tough because mm. in front of me three mm. players was there. Chennai team uh, mm. three players was there. Uh, they are like mm. wall. They standing like a okay. wall. So mm. they were standing mm-hmm. there. So I I mm. uh, they told me my goal guy told me I need a goal. I don't know anything because now only three mm. minutes left and in this three minutes mm. I want a goal and I, I you have to give me a goal. I said okay I'll try. Then uh, I was thinking what I will do. so i took the ball mm. i got the ball uh, someone he touched the ball behind me mm. and so i took mm. the ball and i uh, i just take a round round like center mm. of the goal post i went there then suddenly mm. i turned back and i came back and i take mm. shoot i took shoot from mm. the uh, corner right side to left side i was on the right mm. side of the corner and i took left side shot and it's it was scored yeah okay <laughs> but that was uh-huh. a fantastic one na because you yeah. know it was a very clear shot and everybody was like yeah. surprised uh, looking at you playing over there <laughs> yeah. so uh, how how did you get into football because there are so many games you know and this is a contact sport so how did yeah. you get into football uh so first of all i want to say that uh, I, i i like i have no awareness that time uh, and the i had no awareness about the blind people because i am a late mm. blind person i became blind on 2012 so in a oh. during a, yeah a back accident happened with me so i lost my mm. eyes then i uh, first time i was a teacher of a school i was in mm. there mm. So when i was there that time someone randomly he chose me for a game mm-hmm. he said that we mm-hmm. we play football i said no we are blind people how we can play so he said no you mm. you should come with us and uh, you have a good health that time yeah that time i had a nice body and high nice figure he said yeah you can mm. come so i said okay then mm-hmm. let's do it. so it's a good thing so when i went there first time 2016 mm. i played national uh, in mm. uh, it was mm-hmm. in um, kerala alua so i played that okay. time first that, that was my first game when i saw the game it was like fastest game i saw no blind people it's it's not like a standing in a you you no need to stand in a place you know if you are in striking zone if you are in a defense zone you you can play you have your own world there you can play it's a, it's a like ad, adventurous game so you can do that you can play like running and all you can run first time i saw the blind people running without any scaredness without any fear they they run like a you know like a bull 
you know what i saw okay. before in the cited game like messi uh-huh. messi is my favorite this player my favorite player so i used to uh-huh. see his matches so when i saw uh-huh. his matches that time i used to feel that oh gosh if i can i wish i can play like him so when i got that uh-huh. opportunity yeah then i uh-huh. that was the first game i played there and that day i chose that no this is my platform i can do here so i started to play right now that's nice so before uh, being blind uh, 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 what were you doing like you know you were into sport activity or you were playing football only or you were playing some other sport no actually uh, before 2012 i used to play basketball i'm a basketball champion district champion i played uh, mm-hmm. ba- ch- district championship i played so i was in school that time i used to play basketball okay. basically ba- uh, yeah basketball was my favorite game then i yeah sometimes i used to play cricket football yeah but never like football wasn't my um, like favorite game it wasn't my favorite game but after this blindness football is my favorite game now <laughs> So you know uh, so you had a very bad taste because you know people suddenly seeing the world and suddenly yeah. the world becomes darkness in the front of them so how did you overcome this uh, see overcome like uh, it's tough okay it's it's really tough it's very tough but that time you need few people with you you really need someone who can support you like mentally you need someone who will support you mentally by uh, but unfortunately i didn't get that but yeah mm-hmm. i i used to think that uh, see i i try like this is maybe this is i i should end my life so when i tried that i i used to think like no i can make it better it is in my hand okay i can do it only i lost my eyesight but my health my figure my hands my leg everything is okay everything is fine so i can do it let's try once so i tried then i saw yeah i can do it i tried so many times that uh, th- actually i want to be a actor main thing mm-hmm. i uh, yeah i work i work like um, i works as, i worked as a uh, rj radio jockey in a radio station in calcutta so i worked oh. as an rj yeah then yeah mm-hmm. then uh, i went to mumbai also for being a actor okay. but i didn't get the chance people then they see people never give us any chance but in the mm-hmm. blind football when i saw i think this is my platform so i played the, here is okay. chance for me yeah so i played that mm-hmm. this is the thing it, but it was really tough very tough very tough still i'm sometime i'm feeling frustrated so, uh, i'm frustrated and depression and all. Yes. but it's nice because you know of uh, now i heard uh, now you, when we were talking discussing on that day you were telling you become as a motivational speaker which is really very impressive yeah 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 i actually i can't say that i'm a motivational speaker i want to be a motivation like motivation speaker but uh, okay. yeah i'm doing like a uh, few places i'm doing like uh, in the state wise i'm doing to works as a motivational worker but i really want to work as a motivation speaker but let's see people when but they you know you uh, you sharing your life with us now it is so motivation for us because you know there <laughs> during this especially during this pandemic uh, situation no oh, there are uh, you know there are many uh, things uh, you know uh, downs are always there more comparing to the ups so you know looking at you yes we are getting motivated and we are getting inspired So yeah, you know, thank thanks you. for uh, you know coming into thanks the show you, and uh, being thanks with us. <laughs> thanks to you for giving me the chance, ma'am. So talking about uh, the goalkeeper and things like you know, which position do you play in the football? Uh, actually, I'm an all-rounder. For my state team, okay. Calcutta team, I'm playing striker, and for Indian mm-hmm. team, I'm playing all-rounder. But uh, mainly for Indian team, I'm a defender, center forward, and penalty shooter specialist. and for calcutta oh, team i'm a main lovely. striker yeah for the calcutta team i'm a main striker and i'm play a penalty shooter specialist that's nice so how do you uh, how are the coaches communicating with you now they communicating like uh, they talking with me always over the whatsapp call like my uh, coach indian team coach sunil ji matthew he giving me sometime some uh, like uh, you know uh, like some schedule how to work out and all then my fitness coach uh, narasingh nayal he he is in dehradun so 
so he is giving me all the chart all the list how to work how to take foods and all so he is giving but still i'm getting fat yeah how was the uh, in uh, you know in uh, football in uh, calcutta your uh, how many players are there and how many tournaments do you all play in calcutta uh actually in calcutta we are uh, lots of players we have uh 20 25 players we are now in calcutta uh, and the, we have association so in our association we are 25 six players so but uh, we playing east zone we we organizing east zone on the yeah. end of november uh, or starting of november we uh, started from 2 years actually we playing from 2 years we just started we knew very new for the east zone and uh, and camp like uh, we playing most of time we playing uh, you know uh, like uh, like we going to lots of places uh, like uh, few local places to show them for awareness awareness about the blind football yeah we we playing like this so when you were uh, talking about the awareness you know i, I was really impressed by the song that uh, they had recently launched for, uh, just for you all ha uh-huh. ha have you heard it yeah a bengali song yeah a bengali song and i think there is a tamil version also which is you yeah. know yeah. Uh, really somebody who is sleeping would just wake up and start kicking the ball so it is that much uh, you know very motivational yeah 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 ah uh-huh. yeah we we have a we just released a song uh, maybe you heard about mr anupam roy yeah yes uh, he sang the song and we a uh, lots of athletes was there like swimmer cycler who who doing cycling and all they are there i was there also i had a i took a shot there also my video is there oh yeah so, yeah yeah <laughs> Five days we had the uh, shooting uh, schedule, so we were there. Mm-hmm. So from uh, see, there is a question from uh, one of our coach, uh, Chitra Gangadharan. So she is asking, how do you train uh, young children who are visually impaired? Uh, I train personally. I'm the coach of uh, Bihar team. I'm a okay. coach of Bihar team and Shiliguri also. So I'm teaching them, but see. this is the thing who if you face the situation then you can make someone understand if you are a blind person then uh, like if you are a blind person then you can make another person understand that another blind person you can make make that person understand because you are a blind person you face this so i face this problem i face how to play and how to uh, like how to listen the ball sound so i just sharing my experience and i just sharing my techniques so that's that's what i can uh, teach them yeah this is the way and main thing we have to listen that uh, to be a coach uh, if i say uh, from a coach side like uh, not as a player so i'm saying about uh, saying from a coach side i have to know which player can listen properly because in the blind football first thing which you need and you have to have that one that is listening power if you can't listen properly then you cannot play blind football because it's all about the listening power so you know when you go with the indian team so you know you have players from various other states also right yeah, yeah, so yeah. is there a, so how do you all, uh, how do you all, uh, communicate with each other and uh, you know the the language problem and is there any food problem as such no 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 for the language and all we we never face any problem yeah sometime we face sometime we face but in the blind football main thing is the boy b o i it's a latin word it's mean i am here so main thing this is this is the main thing boy but we have to think like we have to know which one my players voice i have to know that if i know that then i can easily uh, that recognize this is my player yeah Mm-hmm. So, so y'all uh, make some sound, or y'all call out by names, or how is it like when y'all are playing? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, like yeah, call call also. Sometimes we call like that. Uh, hey Samuel, pass. Hey Samuel, take shot like that. 
like that okay. movie uh, yeah but uh-huh. it's a funny thing you know lots of things happen during this time like uh uh-huh. like if i uh, tell you my my thing like people use people call me uh, you know like um, khulla sand like unbreakable bull so yeah <laughs> they, they call me like this the bull uh-huh. yeah like this thing. so who who has been your favorite player uh in blind football or in sighted yeah in blind football and in general of course uh, in general obviously lionel messi yeah he is my favorite okay. player yeah and okay. uh, in blind football uh, from abroad my favorite player is poilan from argentina okay he's my favorite okay. player and, and from india my favorite player is falan falan from kerala mm-hmm. yeah he is my favorite player from india falan is from from where from kerala okay. kerala and mm-hmm. yeah he is from there mm-hmm. and uh, international wise uh, foilan foilan is from argentina his his age is uh, 40 i'll tell you one thing about him like uh, mm-hmm. see if you want to be someone or if you want to do something you need first thing you have to be pan- pa- like passionateable for that thing right for the football if you have if you have, don't have any passion for this then you cannot play that player he ha- he hasn't like he has no teeth you know uh, upper side actually mm-hmm. he lost his four teeth yeah from upper side during this oh. football playing this football oh. blind football. Uh-huh. and uh, <laughs> yeah he's a defender is playing defense in defense area but when people like when his team needs him that time he just switch on his mode and he turned himself a striker he is a striker too oh, it's a okay. it's a defender he's a penalty shooter specialist uh, so uh, so you know like um, uh, so you have been saying that uh, that uh, that you are uh, getting so what is your future uh, aim like you know what uh, exactly you are want to become like you know uh, because i know you are going to continue to play so apart yeah. from that you are also doing a coaching so is yeah. there anything like you want to set up your own academy or you want to you know promote the game by uh, things so like what is your future yeah aim? actually yeah actually uh, uh, main thing is uh, for first thing my dream it's my dream and i believe i trust that one day we can achieve because in the blind football there is no word called i there is no word that i there is always we so we that's our like a dream you can say dream or trust believe that one day we will definitely we will win world cup and yeah if i like yeah if you will get the proper everything then we obviously we can achieve the world cup and after before that if i lose then my one of my player from yes i will make my academy i will make my own team female male both team i will make and one of my player will be in the team in that world cup winning team yeah so how do you actually motivate your team players like if you are down with a goal and all that so how do you exactly communicate and motivate them to play better i always say only one thing to my team players that uh, see like if uh, someone from my team uh, player before i used to enter uh, before i enter the ground before that i was like a funny way always i'm joking funny like always uh, pulling leg of someone like that but when i i enter in the ground we enter in the ground that time i just say to them only one thing see brother maybe it can be your last game of your life just think this is your last game of your life each and every shot just think this is your last shot of your life then just play like that just think this is your last match play like that yeah nothing else you just play from your own just play how you want you just play no need to listen anyone just play this is your last match of your life just play yeah he has been doing lot of activities uh, over here in uh, also in uh, you know forming the grassroots especially working with lot of grassroots uh, uh, development area so he is really doing yeah. a great job for the uh, indian football also lot he works a lot he works a lot 
actually i i was very lucky i spent few time uh, i am very lucky because i got chance to spend few times with him actually he came there when my england england uh, coach came there in the kerala so he was there that time so he was in coaching uh, like coach people there lots of coaches came there so he also there he was there also so i met that time i met him that time yeah and we spend time few sure. times together there so recollecting the memory so what is the fresh memory that you have in your football career uh last march when i was in uh, bangladesh that time uh i fall down from first floor to full, uh, floor to ground actually uh, fall down from up, upper steps to fully down and my uh, oh. yeah my ligament it's got damaged so it's like it it's it was like a you know balloon my leg became like balloon it's it it wasn't fit in the shoe i couldn't play first two matches i couldn't play because they said i really i i couldn't play that time but i told them no no i can play i can play don't worry i can play but my shoe it's not entering in the you know shoe my my feet it's okay. not entering in the shoe it was like that it was like a bomb you know big balloon mm. it's big one so mm. because soiling and all injury is there okay i was i wasn't walk you know i couldn't walk that time but last match i fight with them i fought with them i said no i have to play if you will guys will not give me to play then from next time i will never play with you i told them direct and they said okay go and play how much you want mm-hmm. you just go and play and i played i scored two goals there in bangladesh there was like uh, you know 10000 people was there and were, uh, they're showing over the you know big screen they're showing there in bangladesh and uh, 10000 people was there they saw my game and they really appreciate me they really appreciate me me being as a coach i would uh, definitely ask you next time please don't take such risk because uh, the uh, the football needs you and we want you yes, to play continue obviously. playing for a longer time <laughs> yes yes football needs you and i see i really want to tell to everyone i know now lots of people watching us you uh, lots of people watching here so i really want to tell them that one thing see samuel can't play for long time right for 5 years 10 years samuel can't play gabriel can't play pankaj can can't play always see because in this blind football only for yours we making the ground we making the main ground okay now you have to make the building okay we giving you the base you just make the building come forward and play we are here we are here for you okay we can't play every time you can be samuel you can be gabriel you can be sunil j matthew sunil j matthew will be not there for always you can be there maybe you ma'am you kalpana ma'am can be there for next year or after 5 years after 10 years you can be there anyone can be there okay so you have to come forward take a step only just take one step come in enter in the ground your mind will be changed guarantee this is the game it will like it will flow your blood automatically your blood will be flow when you will come enter in the ground this is the blind football it will give you life so who is your real inspiration uh right now you actually, are our inspiration so like that who's your inspiration uh actually i really uh, that way leonon messi he is my inspiration and then uh, mr shahrukh khan mr amita bachchan sachin tendulkar okay actually they okay. all my all are my inspiration but you know one thing i really want to say in your life your best teacher is your life this life will give you the main you know it will take your exam it will give you lots of experience it will like um, it will teach you lots of thing in your life okay when you have been bad situation bad uh, condition bad time that time it will show you everything okay so life is the main thing i what i taught from my life this is the life you can't be same anything can be happen before 2012 i used to think oh my god i'm earning 15000 rupees in a month so no problem it's okay my life will be all right i took loans and all but when i became blind that time i feel 
this is a life anything can be happen so be ready for it just make yourself ready and yeah you can achieve anything just think one thing if you really want a destiny and destination both are the different thing it's spelling little bit changes spelling is different but meaning is more different like sky and land this is the thing so if you want to achieve something if you have passion for it just go for it don't think what will happen if my leg will break if my head will uh, break if anything can be happen don't think about that if you really want to achieve it just go for it you will achieve it 100% you will achieve it just give your 100% give your level this yeah you can achieve it so so that is the reason why you like sharukh khan is it <laughs> no i like him for his uh, struggle actually when actually okay. i'll tell you i i, I really want to share a story with you about him uh, when he came uh, in mumbai okay uh, when he came mumbai he lost his all money he had not a single paisa in his pocket he lost everything and he went to jew beach jew beach maybe you heard about jew so this yeah, is the, yeah, jew, yeah. that is a yeah that is a uh, like um, sea beach area so he went there uh, the water touching his knee water was okay. touching his knee and he was that his first person people trying to copy his uh, you know his style like both side uh, that left side and right side both hands like this na you can see maybe mm-hmm. <laughs> this the uh, left yeah. and right side yeah. Both, that yeah, yeah that you can that style so that is his first style he gave there the pose and he said one day today this mumbai make me made me poor like a you know mm. like a beggar one day i will mm. be the king of this mumbai and today he is the king he is the badshah uh, thank you so much uh, viewers for uh, staying with us and uh, i'm sure you can uh, we will have another guest on the coming friday at 8 o'clock and please stay uh, in connected with us and uh, we will uh, get to know about uh, more football and uh, yes. we'll explore more football also yes thank ma'am. you so yes. much uh, mr thank samuel you. yeah thank you ma'am thank you so much okay bye 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 all of you yeah bye